Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and today I've got another tricky question. This one is on rates of change, and I've done this question because I have not put this topic in my predicted paper two. The reason why is because we already had two differential equations on paper one, so I thought it's probably unlikely that we'd have another question similar uh, in paper two, but to be fair, we didn't have any rates of change where you had to use the chain rule. So I thought, why not have a go at this question? And also it's got a really nice nice shape at the top, so yay. <laughs> okay, uh, revision. I hope you're um, revising half of paper two, and I hope you have downloaded my predicted paper two already uh, and had a go at that and then watched the video. Uh, if not, you can find it right here. Um, and thank you to all those people that have signed up to my live session. Um, unfortunately, it is now sold out. Um, but if you want to access the recording of that session and also the predicted papers that I'm going to go through in the session, then um, you link is in the description for that. But my main message, as always, is make sure you are thorough with your revision. Make sure you try as many different variations on questions as possible and cover all bases. Okay, let's do it. So we have an icosahedron, which consists of 20 uh, congruent equilateral triangular faces, show that the surface area is given um, as uh, five root three x squared. Okay, so let's just quickly draw one of the faces. It looks something like that. Um, is that, uh, that will do, yeah, fine. Uh, it's I. It's a uh, equilateral, so obviously each of the angles is 60, and all the sides are the same, and we're told they're x. Uh, so the area of one triangle um, will be equal to a half times by x times by x times by sine of the angle 60. So using our formula for area of triangle, a half a b sine c, it's going to give me a half x squared and sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Whoops. So this gives me a total of um, a root 3 over 4 x squared. Okay, so that's just one face, but this shape is made up of 20 um, uh, congruent faces. So we can just multiply it by 20 in order to get to the uh, surface area. Uh, which gives me uh, 5 root 3 x squared as required. Perfect. Okay, so that's part A done. Okay, part B, it says we have the volume here, um, and it says to show that dv by dA is equal to this. Okay, so the, the kind of trick to these questions, like in simplistic forms, is just differentiate <laughs> each equation that you have. Uh, and then try and make it work. So in this instance, we, we, we know this equation and we know this equation. Both of them are equations in terms of x. So we're going to differentiate each of them in terms of x. So I'm going to do dA by dx, um, which when I differentiate that, the 2 comes down times by the coefficient to make 10 root 3 uh, x. Uh, and then I'm also going to find dv by dx, again, because I'm just going to differentiate this equation. Um, so the 3 is going to come down and multiply by this coefficient. Uh, so I'm just going to multiply by 3, which will change that uh, fraction to 5 over 4. Uh, and that'll be 3 plus root 5. Okay, we don't need to times the bracket by 3, just timesing the uh, outside fraction there by 3 is enough to times the whole coefficient by 3. Uh, and then we drop the power down, so that's x squared. Okay, <clears throat> Okay. so then what we need to do is we need to find a way of calculating dv by dA. So I've got a, uh, a dv on top, so I'm going to start by writing dv by dx like this. Um, and that means I'm going to multiply, there's a dx on bottom which I don't want, because I want dv by dA, so I don't want this uh, um, dx. So I'm going to go dx over dA like this, and then hopefully that will cancel, or it will cancel. <laughs> uh, perfect, so those will cancel, and we're good. So what is dV over dx? It is uh, 5 over 4, 3 plus root 5 x squared, and that's multiplied by um, dx 
over dA. So we're multiplying by the reciprocal of what we have up here, which is going to give me 1 over 10 root 3x. Okay, great. So I could write them uh, like so. And then put that over there. So that's uh, 10 root 3 um, x. And then we can get some simplification here. We can divide through by an x. Um, we can also divide through by 5. That'll make it 2. Uh, and that 4 will drop down to the bottom as well. So that will give me 8 on the bottom uh, root 3. And on the top, I will get uh, 3 plus root 5 x. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, so the next part, it's asking us for, um, it, said, well, it says the surface area is increasing at a constant rate of. Now, when we hear that, where it says constant rate of, that means that we are um, um, differentiating with respect to t, because that's with respect to time. So I can write that the dA surface area by dt time is equal to 0 0.025. And then the next thing we're asked, well, what we're trying to find is the change, um, it's the rate, again, of change of volume. So that means that we're trying to find dv by dt. Okay, so the previous question, I found dv by dA, and that's good because it's got dv on top. And then if I multiply that, I'll need to cancel out this dA so I need to put a dA on top, and I'll need to have a dt on the bottom, which is perfect, because that's exactly what we've got just above. So what that means is, is I just need to sub in, why well, I already have that dV by dA, um, like that. But we're asking to find out the value when x is 2. So I can change the x to a 2 there. And that's all over 8 root 3. And then that's multiplied by 0 0.025. Okay, so there we go. I can put that into my calculator. And I get a value of 0 0.019. And that will be meters or centimeters, sorry, cubed per second. Okay, right. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, good luck for paper two. I may do a few live questions on Monday night around eight o'clock, a couple of like A star, maybe some mad ass questions, uh, but it won't be many. Uh, but if there are any particular topics that you would like me to do, then please do um, let me know in the comments and I will see you then. Bye for now.